changes to outdoor concerts and other events. So make sure you know where you're going tonight and that it is starting on time because some things are being pushed back a bit because of the heat on schedule symphony on the prairie tonight. If you're headed out, maybe find the shade temperatures between 85 and 90 early this evening. Can't rule out a stray storm, but for now, those are all developing down to our south, and it's the same setup at Victory Field this evening. It's just going to be kind of a muggy evening for baseball. Still feeling like close to 100 in Indianapolis at this hour, feeling like 104 in Greencastle, feeling like 108 in Columbus, and the feels like temperature in Bedford still 109. So take it easy out there this evening. 90 degrees is the current temperature in Indianapolis. Winds can now coming out of the north northwest at nine. That will eventually drop these dew point temperatures that have been been miserable all week long. Made it to 93 this afternoon, so that record of 96 set back in 1872 still stands, and it was very muggy and warm this morning. We only dropped to 79 degrees. Mentioned the storms that fired up earlier this afternoon south of Indianapolis. They continue to move south at this hour. We will watch for any additional development back across parts of Illinois as we are under the threat of severe weather, mainly from Indianapolis south and west, especially the next couple of hours. But right now, radar is clear at least close to home. Future track 13 does change that late tonight, early tomorrow morning. This is 11 PM. If this complex does develop and holds together, it's expected to impact central Indiana from about 2 AM. This is 5 AM and then pushing south by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and we will feel the weather pattern change by tomorrow afternoon. A muggy start and an early morning storm. Otherwise, we're at 80 midday. Highs in the mid 80s and then Sunday make those outdoor plans 75 to 80 degrees for highs and much, much more mild 85 tomorrow afternoon. We'll help you stay weather aware with those storms if they develop overnight and early tomorrow. Sunny and mild 80 on Sunday. We're close to it Monday and Tuesday of next week, and we got a couple mornings next week in the 50s. We'll take that. We certainly deserve it. <laughs> it is week two of Operation Football, and it is a scorcher out there. Dave and Dom are out at Whiteland.